Hello folks, yes, it's me. We are back with Fallout 4 and uh, we have 85 core mods and I think I put on enough med weapon armor mods and some other shit so we are probably at 200. Keep in mind Sky uh, Fallout 4 is not Skyrim, it's not as, it's, it's not as stable as uh, Special Edition. Anyway, I hope you can hear me. Um, the other thing is, I heard that my voice quality via, uh, what is it called, NVIDIA Shadowplay is kind of shitty. Um, I heard it's way better in Discord because I have some kind of fucking onboard sound card on my computer. And I got damn 2000 euro PC. But uh, yeah, I don't really want to record with OBS, you know, even though it has better settings. OBS tends to fuck up. I never had problems with Shadowplay. Um, yeah. What we're gonna do, we're gonna do like a test run, you know, we're gonna do, see if the texture is working, do we have lags in the city, are the weapons working, because I have like 100 weapon mods active, and <laughs> some crazy shit, like the weapon extended framework, see-through scopes, we got locational damage, life dismemberment, uh, we got the headshot stuff, uh, we are not playing with Fallout Horizon, probably a lot of people are gonna turn off now, but Fallout Horizon, I think it's called, right? Um, it's gonna change too much um, and we can't use all the weapon nodes and shit like that. Uh, what we're gonna use though is the all-in-one pack from some settlements. Um, yeah, one one more thing, uh, the companion mod of Zenobia that I'm working on um, is actually... Uh, the work is gonna... did continue today. Um, it's gonna It's gonna get worked on more now since I have somebody who actually can help me with the programming, scripting, stuff like that. Uh, uh, yeah, what else? Um, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna RP in Fallout 4 since I did it in Special Edition and it helped me more to focus with my character, like what I want to do instead of wanting to do everything at once. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna RP a male or female character. I'm probably trending more to a female character and um, since she has voice in the game I think I'm gonna let her speak for herself in conversations and when I speak outside of conversations for example stuff like that it's more like an inner voice you know since I can't imitate a female voice I'm gonna be more of an inner voice shit like that you know um, so maybe maybe we can make that to work you know um, but yeah floating marker We're gonna have some background noise now because it's fucking hot in Germany, you know, and it's way cooler with the window open, stuff like that, but I'm not gonna turn the fan on because I have a fucking headache. Um, oh yeah, uh, that's gonna click me on survival. That reminds me of something, one important mod I'm missing. I'm not downloading the mod right now, I'm doing it after the video, but the one I'm missing is that I can't save uh, in survival. I think that something something quick save, you know, where you have that quick save item in your inventory. Uh, yeah. I hope after all this fucking talking. It's not correctly installed. Oh, okay. Hot frame? Oh 
shit, I forgot to install HUD framework, okay. Gonna do that after the video, quickly fix that stuff up. But not right now, it's just a quick test, a quick explanation, stuff like that. Um, I did use loot after I, uh, like the guy said, I used the guide by the way from the uh, ESO Fallout guides and the Belmont guy. I forgot his name, but you probably know who I mean with Belmont, right? The dude who made like Ultimate Skyrim stuff like that, so we have the core mods from him. Uh, yeah. Changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get oh, ready and hurts. stop hogging the mirror. Right. So we have the alternative start mod, by the way. Start mod. Um, I'm gonna, when I close the game later, I hope if I remember it, I'm gonna show you quickly my list and stuff. Um, I hey, hope you don't hear the kid outside. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, oh yeah, by the way, if you wonder who I'm gonna RP, I'm, I, was ten I was thinking about, uh, what do you call it, a German police officer or something like that. I even have a German shepherd skin for dog meat, stuff like that. So that could be interesting, you know, since my accent is German. So we could make it like that, I don't know, like the character Crash in the Wasteland, some shit like that, you know, and he doesn't even know what the fuck super mutants are, stuff like that, so... Whew! It could kind of turn out. Uh, so yeah, let's see if the stuff is even working. I don't think my presets are working because I had some shit uh, active that didn't work. You know, some old stuff. So we can we can try it. Um, yeah, it, they kind of work, but they look way different because I used stuff that it's not working here. Yeah, it looks like the bones look very different and stuff. Yeah, Europa looks totally different because I use the FSM stuff, even though this is like still Valkyrie. But if I look at this, the neck seam seems like fine. I don't see any crazy shit. Also like back there a little bit, it sounds fine, but I got the neck scalp fix, or however you call it shit. The red cape is actually still looking pretty okay. Not sure which this one is. Oh my god. This one is actually working still pretty good. Interesting, but I wanna know actually how oh that's wrong. Uh, how the vanilla faces look pretty terrible I'm guessing, right? Yeah, so let's use as a fix so it's this one. Go out, extras. Remove all the shit, go back. Uh, what am I missing? Oh yeah, the fucking... Uh, okay. Yeah, looks like I have to use loot. Right? Looks like the... Sweetie, the you look as beautiful as the day we met. I think. Looks menu is not really working. Even though this stuff is working. Yeah, looks menu. Looks menu is totally not active, so I have to swap around the load order a little bit. But that's easy fix, so I'm glad. Very glad that that is working. Oh yeah. Yeah, that works.
Right. Every time I see that face, I I'm fall wondering if, well if, if my eye mod is working. Yep, it's working. Okay. That looks nice. Creepy as fuck. I uh, wonder if the hair mod is working. Yes, it is. Okay. Looking good, huh? I really need the. Um, even though I can make custom colors, I really want the the one from Looks Menu and stuff. You can do so much more with that mod. But I think for a test, for a test, that's fine. By the way, if, if I choose the FSM body textures that are uh, a little bit wet, because I think wasteland and shit, you know, it's fucking sweaty, stuff like that, right? Uh, yeah, overlays. We don't have, I don't use the two mods with this. This is only a test character, okay. Let's see, now it, I think, oh my god. It's gonna uh, add some shit, true storms. This is pretty sensitive, jeez. Oh god. Neck looks fine. You see that little line there? That's totally fine. That's like you don't even see that shit when because conversations are like this and not like this. So the fix for that. If I wouldn't have to fix it probably would be way worse. Okay, it's still installing stuff. Jesus Christ. Hey. We're gonna skip all the stiff by, uh, stuff, by the way, when I'm actually, like, using the character and stuff. Wait, controls, left out, power bash, attack, activate, left, right, tab, swig and magoo. I'm missing something, though. Oh, yeah, sensitivity. See you later in a mod config. Is there something here? Better location mod settings. We should probably use that stuff later, I think, or we just keep it like it is recommended. Ammo loot chains? Yeah, we have to tweak that stuff probably down to 40 or something, you know. Uh, sit anyway is fine, I'm gonna choose a hotkey for that later, that's basically so we can wait everywhere. Uh, sim settlement, self-explanatory, uh, I think that's a hotkey for some sniper. That's cool. And hotkey manager. Oh yeah, I need to set a hotkey for bullet time to Q or something, oh god. Probably gonna forget that anyway.
Oh yo, did I did I tell you that we're probably gonna have crashes and shit? Probably right. <laughs> I'm gonna put a uh, looks menu and stuff at the bottom manually because if the stuff now is working, maybe. I'm gonna put look uh, locational damage um, and looks menu at the bottom for sure to make sure they are working. Then I test it again. If that stuff is working, then yeah. Wait, what? Make? What the fuck is that big orange thing? Make config XML with config app, please. What the fuck? Wonder what that means. But uh, if I look like look, uh, looks like it's working. Looks like some of the tags are working, like 8 is working, drinks, radiated food. I think that's normal M fusion because we have so much modded shit that not everything will have tags. But yeah, who cares I guess. I'm just not sure if that's if that's like true here, like you know that like 4 of 4 FG button. If that's right, I'm not sure. Okay, so he will always run like that, I guess. And when you make this, he will go directly back to this. Okay, that big fucking thing is really getting on my nerves. Uh, don't know. Quickly just wanna check something. Okay, that's stupid that he goes back immediately. That's stupid. Have to see if that's changeable. Oh, the config app. Oh, now I know what he means. Okay, I'm gonna do that after the test video. Let's just keep this uh, very short. Looks like all this stuff. Okay. Ignore the big orange thing, I just want to test something. Oh yeah, let's keep it safe. Wait, what? That's weird. Okay, looks good. I wanna check something now.
I just want to see... Is that even the right thing? Oh, it's 303, I'm so stupid. Just want to see, you know, guys, if the animation is working because it has, like, specific packs and stuff. Yeah, I think the standard runs, right? Still not correct. I thought that was the one. Hmm. Maybe it's the other one, jeez. Okay, that's not just me, right? The sounds are a little low, even the effects are a maximum, but it could be just me because I'm over speakers, you know? that stuff working? Okay. I just need to check uh, something really quick because I changed a specific voice setting because of Skyrim Special Edition so people are louder but if that specific setting, setting makes the shit in Fallout 4 more quiet that's not good. So let's see if Codsworth is uh, loud or not and then I'm gonna end the video, uh, looks like all the stuff you know is smooth, it's working, I'm just gonna fix the shit. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna record to, to, tonight or tomorrow. As I live and breathe! Leaving? So soon? Was it something I said? Hey okay. Codsworth. Okay, looks like it works. Just tending the garden. Mm -hmm. Who are you supposed to be? Are Voices are working too, me? okay? Right. What are you doing? Everything. Uh, uh -huh. I think you. Uh -huh. Yeah, as one, it's like the, the depth of field is fucked up because of the fucking orange box. Uh, I even forgot how to open the fucking EMB menu. Wasn't it like shift enter or some shit? Oh god. I forgot so much stuff. Just a second. <laughs> you know, I didn't play Fallout 4 for a year, I forgot everything. I only know that SLM something is the character <laughs> creation menu, that's it. 
Wait, what is it? Shift tab? It's not shift tab. doesn't open for me but I think it does open if I get the fucking thing away right yeah I can't even save right now anyway I need to fix the stuff um, and yes I did not use mod organizer because the guy who made the guide didn't say use mod organizer he said use mod manager and he's a pro. I'm using Mod Organizer 2 for quite some months now for Special Edition and Old Room. But yeah. Need to do that stuff with the menu later. Yeah. Quickly gonna show you what I actually have active. And then I'm gonna go off the recording and fix the stuff that the big orange window told me to. Let me quickly do... Uh, what is that mod? Looks menu... This one way to the bottom. What else was there? What I'm missing? Uh, there was something else I wanted to put at the bottom, but I forgot it already. Uh. I know it was looks menu and something else. Oh yeah, better locational damage. Can't go lower. Hmm, who cares? Just gonna play without the helmet add-on, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna try it one more time anyway and see how it is, and maybe I can use loot one more time. I don't, I'm not sure where loot puts the um, looks menu and stuff. So I have to see. But you know, it, it's pretty good that even after all these. Um, the core mods, of course, the game works 100%, but with all the, after the core mods, you know, like all these additional mods uh, at least work. You know, it's just some minim minimal fixes I have to do. Oh, man. But I hate that it takes so long in Mod Manager, you know, like uh, neck Mod Organizer was way faster. As you see here, I have it stuff like named like core, and then with numbers depending on installation and stuff like that. But it's a lot of stuff. You can pause the video if you want. Right? That's all. <sighs> I'm gonna go and go get the config tool. Gonna create this XML stuff, and I get the HUD framework that I forgot. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make a second test video or something. I think I'm gonna test after this for myself a little bit. And then I'm gonna start tonight or tomorrow with the RP playthrough, I guess. So feel free to come by, check it out. Stuff like that. And I get uh, keep you guys posted on my uh, voiced companion project, stuff like that. Anyway, see you guys.
tomorrow or something. Ooh. Bye.